Hey guys, so that time again for another video, and in today's video, if you couldn't tell by the title, I'll be reorganizing this whole shelf right here, the Japanese manga shelf, and I figured it was time to reorganize it a bit more, mainly because I haven't really touched it since I have moved in here, and it just is kind of a bit messy, and it needs, it needs a little bit of TLC. I'm just gonna be honest there. So <laughs> yeah, I need to better organize it so I can find some of this stuff a little bit better. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. And I have actually done reorganizing videos on my channel before, but it's been such a long time and I thought, why not take a trip down memory lane and do one for the year 2024. And yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully y'all will stick around and see how it ends up. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so this is how the shelf currently looks. And I mean, it's not bad so far. I just have like a lot of books that don't really have a proper place, to be honest. And I kind of want to organize like at least the main stuff a bit better and then put the stuff that don't really have a proper place in a better place if that makes sense but I do want to try to put my quote unquote comics together with my magazines I think that would make more sense and I think I'm gonna put those on the top there and then all my shoujo manga will go down in these last few rows so that's sort of the idea that I had. Hopefully it'll turn out okay and hopefully I will like how it looks. And then after that it'll be deciding where to put all the little knickknacks that are on my shelf. So that's uh, the idea that I had. Let's go ahead and get her done. Alright, so I am currently using a different camera for this portion of the video, mainly because this camera has a battery life of two hours long and it's definitely way more than this guy right here. This is my vlogging camera, my Sony RX100 Mark III and uh, I've used this for many of my videos. Yeah, it doesn't last as long as this one here so yeah and I'll be probably time-lapsing this portion of the video but I may jump in here and there to post a, an update or to say an update whatever but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and start time-lapsing this, and I will go through all this stuff and reorganize it a bit better. Let's get started. Okay, where do I start? to get this thing because my shelves are looking rather dusty and since I'm cleaning it off I might as well just you know go ahead and get the duster okay this is what we're currently looking at here and so far I am making progress this is the Koro Koro comics section I also put my Furoko manga up here um, figured it would make sense to just put them all there but yeah, that is the current update on things. My shelf is still looking very messy, so let's c continue on here. And there goes my, my duster. There we go.
It's looking good. Okay, here's how it looks. I think it looks a little bit better than before. So I just gotta put the rest of my child comics on this row and then I'll do either Ribbon or Nakayoshi next. But we shall see. So yeah, I have a whole empty shelf here. And then a partial empty shelf down here. And I still have all these larger volumes that I have to decide where they should go. And I have migrated some books over here until they can be put back in their proper place. But yeah, so far so good. I'm, I'm really liking how it's looking. And then after that, it'll be just alphabetizing them properly. So... Yeah, that's the update. Let's go ahead and continue. Alright, so now I'm in the bottom portion of, of the shelf, and I gotta do some dusting, and uh, you know, anything that looks gross, because it has been a while. There we go. So now I gotta decide what kind of books I think should go on this bottom row where the Koro Koro comics used to be. And I'm kind of thinking I should put these ones right here. These guys down below here. That's my thought. So I am going to see how that does. And uh, yeah, I do not have the best posture, so I apologize in advance. So. Uh, please do not judge me on that. So, I want to go ahead and get started with Bakabon and Tensai Bakabon. And here we go. Okay, so this is how all of the tall books section looks. I think it looks pretty good. And this is actually technically an art book, so I think I'm going to put this with my art books instead of on the manga shelf. So as you can see here, this is an art book. Not so much a manga. So I'll definitely have to put this in with my art books. But it's a really cool book. I really do like this art book. This was a really cool find. Bought it when I went to Japan one year. So yeah, this is a really awesome art book if you can find it. But anyways, yeah, that is my progress with this shelf and 
It looks pretty good so far. Alright, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then I'll update you guys from there. Alright, so I'm going to do all my Shonen Jump manga and put it on, I think, this shelf right here. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started with that. Go on. Uh, whatever. Okay, there we go. So, so, these books are also technically art books. I have a Haikyuu one. I have a Nanatsu no Taizai art book as well. And then Ao no Futsumachi Blue Exorcist art book. These are all art books. So you can see, yeah, not te technically manga, so I think I'm going to put all of these in the art book section of my bedroom. I think it would make the most sense for them to be there rather than on my shelf. So yeah, that's my plan for that. But I do have all of the Shonen Jump stuff here right now and I think it turned out pretty good and uh, yeah, I'll have to find maybe a different place for my Gohan figure because the Dragon Ball section is now pretty low. And I don't know, maybe I'll put them on this shelf somewhere, just not with the Dragon Ball stuff. And it's fine, it's not a big deal. And anyway, so yeah, that's the update. And I just have uh, two and a half rows left to go, and then I'm done. So yeah, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for these next two rows here. Alright, so it is pretty much done, at least for the manga organizing part. I just have a little bit of that to do, and then these are all art books, those are going to go with the art books. And then yeah, it's just those, and then I'll be done, then I just have to alphabetize everything, and it'll be all set. A few moments later. So here's the top part. All my Carl Carl magazines and Fidoku manga up here. And down here, all the Tonkoban volumes. And I have some Yokai Watch back there. And here is all the Chow comics. I tried to leave some room for that, and I really like this box, this candy box. Looks good with the Chow comics, I think. Here's the second row of Chow comics, and I'm going to try to leave the rest of the space open for more Chow comics, since that is my go-to for buying more series, but for now, I'll just leave this display up and I decide to put my Gohan figure there. Down here is just my ribbon mascot comics, and I made sure to leave a little bit of room for that. And down here is my Nakoyoshi comics, and I made sure to leave a little bit of room for more Nakoyoshi. I might want to pick up Mama Kole again. I used to have that manga in my collection and if I ever go back to Japan again I want to try to find it used in the complete set of that because I remember really liking that series. 
And then these are just random volumes that didn't really have a place to be. And down here is my Shonen Jump section. Then I put my other Kinoko no Yama candy box there. And then down here is the tall manga. So you can kind of see the height difference here with uh, these those volumes. And um, I will need to put these on the art book shelf so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna end the video so yeah let's go ahead and put these away okay so here are all my art books and I got them all right here and I have this Dragon Ball Z one that I showed and this Blue Exorcist one All color, which is pretty cool. There's the Nanatsu no Taizai one. Some nice illustrations in these. And then this one is Haikyuu. Nice illustrations in here too. And I have a lovely complex book. I got this a long time ago, but there's some really cool illustrations in here. Yeah, all color. These are all color books. So yeah, let's go ahead and get these on the shelf and I won't be able to film myself doing that because as you can see this is a, a very tiny room and yeah, I'll just show you how it looks after I get these on the shelf. Alright, so it is now done. I have reorganized this shelf a little bit as well just so I can get those on here with the rest of my art books but yeah this is how it looks and it looks awesome I think it turned out pretty good all right so it is now pretty much the end of the day here as you can tell by the video quality it has gotten a bit darker but I hope you guys enjoyed watching me reorganize my shelf and I think it looks really really incredible the colors really do pop and just the overall look of it just is really awesome but I did forget to show you guys where I put these three um, manga the Fuku Fuku Funyan manga I put it right next to my Totoro doll and on the same shelf as the Urban Mascot comics so it's, I think it'll be fine there for now and it looks nice there so yeah, I also got my my lanyard on as I showed in one of the previous videos and the pins are staying on pretty strong so I haven't had any issues with them falling off. They do have these really strong backings so yeah they'll be, they won't be escaping from this anytime soon but anyways yeah that is it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a thumbs up. Always lets me know that you guys enjoy this kind of content. And who knows, maybe somewhere down the road I will do another shelf organization type of video. And I really enjoyed doing this. It was really nostalgic for me to do this. And yeah, so I definitely want to do this again in the future. So anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!